Oh, morning. It's August 9. I uh, thought I'd do another update on my wife's uh, cancer situation. Um, and also do some more uh, thank you shout outs for uh, those that have donated. Uh, I'll start off with the thank yous first. Uh, Monica uh, Cantu, I believe that's how you say it. Uh, Evan Jordan, also an anonymous donor and a huge anonymous donation uh, that was made uh, a few days ago. I really, really appreciate that. It uh, was really, really needed. Um, yeah, and anyway, last week, the latter part of last week, my wife took her trip to Acapulco to get registered into the hospital there and uh, yeah, get into the system, get all that stuff done, and then uh, she really needed to recuperate. I really didn't talk to her at all Friday or Saturday. I talked to her brother. Um, he gave me kind of a general rundown of what was going on and, you know, getting her into the system at the hospital. And starting today, for the next four days, she's going to be going through a bunch of uh, more tests and evaluations. I think they're going to make a final decision if she's going to get her hysterectomy surgery. Yeah, again, I'm thinking this needs to get done if it's stage three and aggressive, but I guess, you know, they need to, uh, you know, conduct their, um, conduct their evaluations and tests. She's going to be doing a bunch of blood work, uh, checking her organs and all that. So we should know for certain if she's going to be going in for hysterectomy surgery, um, sometime this week. And, uh, but yeah, at least now she's you know, down there in Acapulco and in the in the system and getting ready for the uh, cancer procedure and treatments. Um, so, yeah, that's been. I did talk to her Sunday, and that's where I got the you know the latest updates on everything. But um, anyway, plans for getting to Mexico they've changed a bit since the last update. I was hoping to travel with a family friend. He was going to make a. Uh, a, a one-way flight down and then drive back but right now his his wife is uh, waiting on her immigration you know immigration process and it has not been approved yet so he wants to wait on that uh, plus some other things um, a job that he was gonna another job he was gonna take didn't pan out and um, yeah just basically some other other stuff on his end that just we couldn't couldn't do the trip so anyway we're looking at probably flying down round trip now with my sister-in-law up in Charlotte and um, just waiting on them to confirm the dates. Uh, might be f still flying out of Greenville, Spartanburg. Um, Raleigh is another option because again the plane tickets I think are 422 round trip out of Greenville, Spartanburg as long as they're three weeks in advance. If they're less than three weeks all of a sudden the price skyrockets so we got to make a decision so uh, there's only a couple days left in August. Right now it looks like sometime the first week of September is when they're wanting to go or when they're planning on going. So, And they may go for anywhere from a month, maybe five weeks. So if that's the case, I may go for that same length of time, again, to be there to help out, you know, um, with my wife and her um, cancer surgery and all that. So, uh, again, I'm just waiting for them to let me know when they're going to fly and then we can... Uh, reserve the tickets or get the tickets paid for at the same time, you know, travel down together, travel back together, all that. So that's the latest there. Um, but uh, yeah, so as it stands right now, at least my wife is in Acapulco. She's in the hospital, well, not in the hospital now, but she's in the system. She's going to the hospital today and will be there probably the next four days. Um, and again, to, you know, make a... Uh, yeah, again, testing, doing all her test evaluations and to make a final determination on the hysterectomy surgery and if she gets that, then when will she start chemotherapy or if she doesn't get the surgery, when is she going to start chemotherapy? That's the bottom line. We just need to find out when things are going to start happening. So, um, But yeah, that's the uh, latest as I know it, so I thought I'd pass that on to you and thank you again for those that have donated. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, um, I'll probably have another update, hopefully, later this week as uh, I know things. So thanks again for your support.